everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for pressing that button and coming to listen to me ramble on about makeup and all things grand. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to talk about my eyeshadow collection. So <laughs> from a previous video where I was just like a get ready with me, I was saying I'm like eyeshadowed out. I bought an eyeshadow palette like a few days ago. So clearly I'm not eyeshadowed out and I am... Okay, so I can tell you right now, give it a few months, yellow is going to be the end color. And I want a freaking yellow. I don't have a yellow. So I'm going to say this is my collection, but it's definitely adding up just like my highlighting collection. I was like, ah, I've got enough. I definitely purchased more highlighters. So let's start with the individual eyeshadows that I have. I'm going to start with the ones you can't get in South Africa. This is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Eyeshadow in Luster. It's like this purple. It's useless. It needs to be thrown out. And I'm literally going to throw it out now. I would not put this on my eyes. Nor would I put that on my client's eyes. Then we have the other one that is in a gold. Nope. Nope. Then we have the Max Factor. And I don't really purchase anything from Max Factor. I just don't. But I got their excess shimmer in the color 20 copper. I love putting this thing on in a rush when I just want to like head on out. And then I just put this over and then go out. The only unfortunate thing is because I have oily eyelids, they crease, which is not super fun. But hey, I have no idea where this is from. I've had this pretty much my whole existence of makeup. But it is the Sally Girl thingy in cranberry i use this all the time the fact that it's i haven't hit pan is quite something so that's that then i have two rimmel products i got them in i went to a fashion show and it was one of like their goodie bag things it's these two colors in blue and silver the blue one's called magnificent blue and then the silver is called magnificent Magnifi in silver. What the freak a doodle zoo? As you can see, it hasn't been touched. Since cool colors are coming back in, maybe I'll use them. That's why I have not gotten rid of them, nor have I used them. Then I've got a L'Oreal. Now, I've been trying to find a single eyeshadow pot that's great gold. So I tried this L'Oreal Paris. It's like a gold. It's good. But I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. So I'm still on the hunt. I'm still on the hunt. I have some great golds and palettes, but not singles. Then we have this ghastly thing that also needs to be thrown away. And again, I've just kept it for a video like this. And it is the Wet n Wild single glitter thing called Brass. Do not. Do not get this. Don't. It is. It looks all fun, hey? It looks super fun. It looks super fun. It's, it's not pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's just, nope, 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 nope. And now I have glitter all over me and I'm probably never going to get this off. They have other eyeshadows. Great stuff. This, useless. Also, I do not purchase from Yardley, but I like this purple. It is their Stay Fast Quad in Pebble. It's cute. I like the purple. Not as much anymore. Then I got this. It's it's like ripped off. But you can't get it in South Africa, so don't worry. It is hard candy. And I got it in America. And I was like, hey, all shimmers. Look how fun that would be. They're not that grand, eh? They're not that grand. They swatch nicely, but on the eyes, they patchy and not cute. Would not advise you guys to get anything from hard candy that I know of. I haven't experienced any great stuff. The last two single shadows that I have, that I have not depotted just because I haven't depotted it, is the Matte Cranberry. It's freaking gorgeous. I nailed it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And then I have Texture, and I just, it's just a satin brown. You got this, you got this. I'm such a, like, beauty guru now. I'm using autofocus for the first time, so this will be a great testing situation. I've got glitter all over me. Then I have, ugh, this is the Beauty Treat Modern Matte Palette. Doesn't it look so nice? <laughs> no. I've done a video on it. It's, it's just swear word. It's not known. And then I have the NYX Ultimate Palette in Warm Neutrals. I've done like three videos with this and I have not edited them because I just haven't. 
but it is this beautiful palette here. Let's see, why are you not focusing? There we go. It's just gorgeous. I got the, I've spoken about this, the 2017 Tarte gift thing. I've deep potted these and I'll show you now, but here are the shadows. They look nice, don't they? No, no, no. They perform like shit. I've tried so hard, I just can't. But I want to keep it and I'm not letting go, so that's that. We're almost done. I've deep potted them into like this MAC magnetics thing. I've just put magnets behind them, if you can see. And then they stay in there. Okay, so this is what I deep potted from the Tarte holiday collection. But these here, the small little pans, and they're over there, they're part of a sleek palette. And this is the first eyeshadow palette I ever purchased. Now, I might have purchased like a single shadow, but it's the first eyeshadow palette. And I can't believe I... It's it's just... It's not in South Africa anymore. Sleek was in Fashini's actually. But this was... This was my eyeshadows. And I can't believe I still have them. They're so small. But then these big ones here are from MAC. So Carbon, Espresso, Embark, Brulee, and Sketch. They are MAC single shadows that I got when I was studying. So that's that. And then I have another MAC palette that I got specifically for uh, weddings. I think this is like the best wedding kind of palette type thing. It is their eyeshadow palette in warm neutral. I like it. It's simple. It works. So those are my matte ones. Then I got the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Freaking love it. I used it on a bride. It's just, it's the bomb. So you have cool neutrals, warms, and I love it. I got it from Abu Dhabi and I regret nothing. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Aren't the colors amazing? Unfortunately, I have a dud. Like, I have tried every primer. I've tried the Wet n Wild one, I've tried their Potion one, I've tried my MAC Paint Pots in Soft Ochre, Ride or Die. I've tried the Catrice one, I've tried Shape Tape, nothing. So I am going to go and return this. Love the color scheme, sucks that it doesn't work on me. And everyone else said, I have not heard one person, one person say that they're like, mm, no, we don't like this palette. Everyone said that the eyeshadows last as long as a normal eyeshadow. I wish mine did. Mine doesn't even last three hours. I'm not even joking, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to return this and hopefully I can, or exchange it, and hopefully I can get a new one. Uh, since we're still on Urban Decay, let me talk about the other Urban Decay product that I have. And this was the first high-end palette that I've ever purchased. It is the Naked 3. So it's just cool tones, rosy tones. I loved this palette, I really did. Um, I do not go into it that much anymore. I am trying to, I'm gonna do like a same palette one week, one palette, one week type of a thing where I just do looks. So seven looks or seven things using this palette just because I want to use my palettes. Then I've got two Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. I have their Comfort Zone palette, which is like a must have. I really, really love this palette, like this color here. They don't have the colors names, I don't think. No, they don't have names, but I will just swatch this to find it. Oh, and it changes, like it's duochrome. Magnificent. It's focusing on my face and not the arm, whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. And then of course I have this one. This is my newest, newest one that I said I just purchased. They say it's like a cheaper version or a cheaper dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance because of the colors. And I've played around with it. I even used my handsome boyfriend's eyes to do some colors one night. I'm impressed. I do wish that the glitters were a bit better, like the shimmer here. That shimmer there, 
doesn't perform that great but then just use a damn concealer to amplify that okay my two morphe palettes so this of course is my jacqueline hill and morphe collaboration it's amazing really love it i really do it's got so many different colors and you can do so many looks with it i am super happy i've used this and i'm going to be using this on a bride and some bridesmaids so that's super fun the other Morphe palette that I got, which was the first Morphe palette I ever got, is the 35O, the OG. People were insane about this, and I think for rightful reasons to an extent, I just use this for the 50 Shades of Brown. And I use that regarding eyeshadow or like eyebrows for my clients, so yes. Okay, two more, we've got two more, okay. This is the Catrice Nude, the Essentials Nude. I've used this on my channel as well. It's super basic and it works. If you like it, if you're a newbie, if you're a newbie, I recommend it, it's, it's, it works. And then the love of my life, guys, love of my life. It's amazing. <laughs> it just gives like the weirdest face. It is this. Oh, it's gorgeous. It performs insanely well. I love it with everything inside of me. I regret nothing. And if you want it, you... So I'm waiting for the autofocus. If you want it, go to Muse SA. I know it's a thousand and fifty rand, which is insane, but it's worth it. Like really, unless you have a friend or family member going overseas, ask them to buy it. It's $42, so it's going to be like 700 and something around, maybe 800 now. Love it. Recommend it to every, everyone and their mothers and their sisters and their cousins and their friends and their dogs if they want. Just do it. That is my eyeshadow collection. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.